Hey y'all, my name is Caroline and welcome to the Lazy Tea Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create beef stew in a pumpkin. Forget bread bowl, it's pumpkin season. This makes a terrific centerpiece for a dinner party or for your Thanksgiving get together. We're gonna jump into this in a moment. But for this recipe, you're gonna need about two pounds of top sirloin steak. I'm using our Lazy Tea's top sirloin. You can also use um, other cuts of steak or ground beef, but this cut is just gonna make our, our stew extra amazing. <laughs> so for this recipe, I'm drawing inspiration from the beef stew recipe up on the Lazy Tea website and mixing that with uh, the lamb stew squash bowl recipe up on From the Roots blog. So by combining these two recipes, I'm hoping to really get a fresh flavor that works amazing in a pumpkin. The links to both of those recipes are included below. So to get started, I gave my top sirloin steaks a quick sear. So now that we've browned our meat, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna clean out the pumpkin and line the inside and the lid with butter. We're also going to chop up an onion, and some tomato, and these are gonna roast in the oven as well. We're gonna go ahead and clean out our pumpkin. Now we're gonna use this lid for later to make our big bowl for our stew. So you wanna get all that inside gunk out <laughs> before we roast. So for this recipe, you're going to need two large tomatoes and an onion. You're gonna cut them both in half and put them on a baking pan with some crushed garlic, six cloves of crushed garlic. Now we're just gonna drizzle this with some olive oil and some salt and add some salt and pop this in the oven for about 25 minutes. So while our vegetables are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and butter the inside of our pumpkin and then we'll just set this aside while we finish up the, the base of our stew. So for this recipe, you'll need a can of unsweetened coconut milk and some fresh basil. And this will really bring out the flavors of our vegetables and should pair well with our steak. As our other elements cook, we're going to saute some kale. I'm using about two cups of some baby kale, but you can use adult kale. You can even use collards for this recipe. And I'm also going to saute uh, eight ounces of some sliced mushrooms. So I'm using two cans. You can also use baby bella mushrooms or uh, a different mushroom if you prefer. And once your vegetables are done roasting, throw them in the blender with some fresh basil and your coconut milk. Go ahead and cube your steak and add it to the skillet and then pour your coconut cream, tomato, onion, garlic mixture on top of that. Now that the stew is simmering on the stove top, I'm gonna use some of Kent Rowland's original seasoning. Now it's time to transfer the stew to the buttered pumpkin. We're gonna put on the lid and then pop this in the oven for 25 minutes. So it has been 25 minutes and I've pulled the pumpkin out of the oven. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. So there you have it, a recipe for a pumpkin stew bowl. Now this would make a perfect table centerpiece for Thanksgiving or really any fall gathering. And you saw how easy it was. If you're interested in purchasing some lazy tea beef, you can do so at the link in our bio. And thanks to Candice at From The Roots Blog for inspiring this dish. Mmm, so good.